What's going on YouTube? It's your guy, very high, and I am not British, so I'm gonna stop with the accent. Today's video is the EUP menu, also using the EUP clothing packs. It's just a cool little menu that's gonna let us dress down our police officer with LSPD FR and different equipment packs, all preloaded, no filler. So in this video, we're gonna be dealing with LSPDFR and the EUP menu. It's a really simple install. We can create characters. Uh, we can save characters, edit their look at any time, including facial features, heritage, sex, as well as switching back to a saved character and then switching up our wardrobe that we can individually adjust clothing or we can check out these uh, law and order or serve and rescue packs uh, you can even save outfits or wardrobes you can even go into uh, a pack get that clothing and then individually change out the different assets that make up that particular pack and then save it here's one i made it's a a really rough looking gang unit idea concept um but we're going to switch it up. I'm going to uh, show you a suit that I did make with a vest I installed. So in this video, we're also going to be installing some custom vests made by Hanako over on LSPDFR.com. So we're also going to replace one of these vests textures with a texture that says gang unit on the back. So let's go ahead and let's check out some of the features with EUP menu. And again, if you want to know how to install this stuff, the tutorial is going to be at the end of the gameplay, and if you want to see the gameplay, I suggest you just stick it out to the end of the video. So we can hop in the EUP Law and Order assets, uh, our pack set, and all the departments are represented in this pack. You can pick out many, multiple variations for a specific division or a type of um, agency within uh, Grand Theft Auto V. So I thought it'd be cool to modify the uh, bike patrol and uh, that's what I did in this video you can be SWAT noose there's other types of replacement packs that you can replace the SWAT and tactical gear if you wanted to the bike police is pretty cool for the um, uh, dirt bike patrol that one's pretty cool I'm definitely gonna keep my memory banks locked into that one but for this video we're gonna alter the bike patrol for LSPD so uh, I like the base package they got here for this outfit except i'm gonna add a little some sum i'm gonna add a vest to this young man so i'm gonna hop into wardrobes go to create and we're just gonna start messing around with all these individual assets we can manipulate the visuals on our police officer one asset at a time and i'm just gonna scroll through and check out uh, all the different variations you should definitely take the time to explore and uh have fun with this, but we're gonna be looking at the vests in particular for this particular demonstration. I'm gonna filter through all these vests. There's a lot to go through and there's lots of room for installation because if it's not a vest, it's like a badge. Um, there's so many different options you can do. Uh, but for this particular video, I chose this vest pack and I installed several different vests from it. Links will be down in the description as well if you're interested in downloading these for yourself, but you can essentially use EUP uh, for just about anything in uh, LSPDFR as far as clothing and working with this menu. It's a lot easier to access than uh, using a trainer. So I think I'm good on this outfit here. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go give it a name up top in the menu. There's gonna be a name uh, input box. I'm gonna give it a name. Uh, I think I'm going to call this what bike patrol. And once I'm done, I'm just going to hit enter. I think I call it LSPDFR bike control or yeah, LSPDFR patrol. And then I just saved it. And uh, now here's some gameplay in action. Uh, down there on the right hand corner, that is actually uh, the call out interface. We'll be doing a video on that one, too. <clears throat> All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. That was a quick little overview of O, our EUP menu, and some packages. Just want to say thanks for coming out to the video. And if you want to know how to install this, 
Go ahead and check out the tutorial coming up right now. Alrighty, so we are installing the EUP menu version 2.3.0 on lspdfr.com. Go ahead and look it up. Links are in the description. We're also going to download this vest retexture that comes with this vest pack. And we're also going to take a look at the EUP packs law and order as well as the serve and rescue. We're going to download EUP and we're also going to download these two texture packs right here. The texture packs are going to be OIV files. We're going to open that up straight from the folder and install it with open four. But first, let's go ahead and get EUP installed. It's really simple. We're going to download it really quick and we are going to extract the file, the plugins folder straight into our main GTA five directory and the files are going to fall where they need to fall. It's pretty much how you install any LSPDFR mod from what I'm aware of right now is you just drag and drop the folders into your main directory and it's going to do the magic all on its own. Wow. Now, if you already have Rage Native UI, I do not recommend installing the Rage Native UI that comes in this package. Uh, we're just going to simply drag the plugins folder to our GTA 5 main directory, which I'm going to find right now with my file explorer. I'm on Epic Games. So in my C drive, I'm going to go to program files and then Epic Games GTA 5. And you'll notice we have a plugins folder already in GTA 5. So all we need to do is simply drag the plugins folder for EUP just straight into the main GTA 5 directory, making sure not to put it in any subfolders. And now those files have gone straight to our plugins folder. We're going to hop inside and you'll notice we have the EUP DLL. And once we get the game up and running, we'll be able to explore the hotkeys. So in our configuration file inside the EUP folder and our plugins folder, we can change what keys or controller combinations will launch the EUP menu. So now that we have those done, we're going to take a look at installing the law and order as well as serve and rescue uh, clothing packs for EU. So I've located my open eye uh, open for uh, package installation package. Uh, we're just going to double click it. Make sure it's an OIV file. It's going to open up on its own uh, in open fours interface, so to speak. And we're going to install it just like we would if we would have installed it using open four. So once it gets started, we're going to install it like any open four package. Excuse me. We're just going to click the install button here. And when it prompts us to install in the mods or game folder, we're going to choose mods folder. And then the next prompt, we're going to choose install. And we're not going to run the game once this is done. Uh, this may take some time considering on how fast your computer is as it is installing a lot of other different mods. And if you guys are having problems with the game crashing because you have too many mods like this, you're going to need to check out my GTA 5 modding video for 2022. It's going to let you know what files you need to download, like a game config, heap limit adjuster, and pack file limit adjuster. Those will prevent your game from crashing for overloading the memory with too much jive. Okay, so once this is finally done, we're going to do the same exact thing for the serve and protect package as well. There we go. That's installed. Let's go in mods folder after we've clicked the install. Okay, so the serve and rescue pack is no different. Same thing in a mods folder install. It's going to load everything up and then you're going to be done. And then we're going to install the custom vests from our vest pack straight inside of open four. So now that that's done, we need to launch open four and hop inside of the EUP DLC that was added to our DLC packs and list when we ran the open four package. All right, it's uh, pretty simple what we're gonna do here. We're going to take the textures or at least one of the textures from this texture pack and we're gonna replace a specific vest task O2 with this texture that's going to apply the gang unit to the back if you download the texture pack it comes with all of the eu vest and earpiece vests that you would otherwise download separately okay so we're going to be replacing one of those vests with one of these gang unit textures let's hop into open four we're going to go to our uh, mods folder update x64 dlc packs and we've got our eup folder here we're going to click on the dlc x64 again and then we're gonna click on the component peds.rpf. Now this is arranged just like you would see any other DLC folder. It has multiple DLC folders for MP male and female characters. We're gonna be dragging the corresponding vests 
from files that match the file or folder names here. So we click on files. We have our earpieces. We have a folder with extra stuff, and then we have vests. Uh, the earpieces, those are props. So they're going to actually go in the component underscore p dot rpf. Uh, right here, we're component peds underscore p. Now, if we take a look at the archive here, you'll see it's in a folder that matches a folder name within the open for directory. So that's what we have to do. We have to find the corresponding matching folder name. And inside of open for, we're now going to go into edit mode, enter into that folder, enabling edit mode. And then we're gonna click in our archive and drag our models out to somewhere on our desktop or straight into open four from the archive. You can take a look at the 3D model and there is our first earpiece. Now, since we're in props, we're going to install the second earpiece and then we are going to then exit out of the props folder to install the vest and a few other and we're gonna replace the texture on that very vest. Okay, now moving out of the props directory and going back into uh, the, the PEDS folder, we're now gonna install vest one. So this vest is going to have one of the vest files we'll need to replace it with the gang unit texture. All right, so here's the various different looks that come in this pack. You know, they switch it up to various different styles, but only one of these has the game or the gang unit textures that we want to replace. And that is task 002. So we're going to find task 002 right now. Okay, so if we get to went to set up three, look inside this folder here, we have task 002 texture and 3D model. We're going to drag those into open four. And then we're going to take a look at the task 002 diff uh, texture and we make sure that edit mode is still enabled, we're gonna take this texture and we're gonna click on the replace button. You'll only see that if enabled uh, edit mode. And here's our texture we're gonna replace it with. Let's take a look at the 3D model real fast and we'll see that texture in action. There you go. It now says, net. <clears throat> and uh, that's all it takes. There's a few more extras included with this package of the vest and earpiece. There's, you know, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts. There's a hoodie. There's extra belts and holsters. Uh, lots of other vests. Um, and, you know, by all means, uh, have fun with it. They are very high poly, so don't get too crazy. Uh, I installed the ones that I wanted and hopefully you do the same for you. I'm your guy very high. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and want to see more. And if you don't know how to mod for GTA 5, check out my GTA 5 2022 modding video for GTA 5 to get your beginners getting where you need to get to get GTA 5 on your PC and be legit. You feel me? So until then, stay safe, stay dangerous. Peace.